I'm gonna turn to a page in the Bollywood book. Okay. And that that is the movie we will watch next. Maybe not next. Oh, we've <laughs> we... Debra. <laughs> Let me do it again. Hold on. Hold on. No, I don't want that page. But Pisa. Pisa. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna get one. We've seen everything in the book. Om Shanti Om. That'll work. <laughs>Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick. It's of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon. Follow us on Instagram. Like button. Today, we got an old Hindi song uh, from a Amitabh Bakchan <laughs> and a Jaya Bakchan. <laughs> um, did you hear a story about how they're jacking up India? A huge number of these plastic Amazon things are being discarded and dumped for waste in India. Ooh. You know, I heard it on the news yesterday. Hey, Bezos, cut that crap out. I did not hear about it. There you go. That is not good. Yep. But anyways. So, is, what are we doing? How did we get there? This is from a 1973 film called... With Amitabh Bakchan. It's called Abhaman Song with uh, Amitabh and Jaya and... What else? Uh, it's called... Uh, Nadia Kanari Hirai. This is one like when we talk about seeing like old Jaya films and with Amitabh and her. Mm. Uh, this is one comes up a lot. Yeah. Uh, read this. Abhiman Pride is a 1973. It's a gay film. Hindi Hindi movie starring Amitabh Bachchan and Jaya Badhuri. The movie follows Subir Bibi, a famous and established singer who discovers a singing prodigy, Umul Jaya, in a remote village and helps her to establish a career by porking her. <laughs> That's I added that. This song is where he discovers her singing talents for the first time. The melody, created by S.D. Berman and rendered by Lara G, is calm and free-flowing, like Corbin in bed and its nature matching the serenity of the village surroundings. She sings about an old village tale. While probably the most underrated melody of the movie, this semi-classical melody is certainly the most intricately crafted of the album, with sudden key changes skillfully rendered. Your mom skillfully rendered my butt. <laughs> you know who can skillfully render a key change? Mm. That's right, a locksmith. Here we go. What the deuce? That woman sounds just like Lara That woman's gonna have my children. And he will be called Lily. I, lo I love those, the chimes in classic films that happens a lot. That hair. Imagine going for a, a, a walk and finding Lara G.
walks up, taps on her shoulder. To enjoy it. Ma'am, I would like to impregnate you with my seed. Pretty sure that is the next line. That's how he film. that's how he they met in real life. Yeah. And he was like, You are going to have my son and he will be called Little B. Imagine I believe it. <laughs> Imagine finding Lara G. I know. Just singing along the river. With magical invisible accompaniment by the instrumentalists. I I think that's what happens. You know who I think was in the tree? Hmm. Ustaji Zakir Hussein. Probably. He was up in the tree, playing away. And that was gorgeous. I'm really thankful for what we read by the stupid so baby. We have context. Of yeah, what's going on. and the explanation to listen for certain things. Because there are times where I might be hearing something, and if I'm not really focused, I could miss it. But because we read that, I, I loved the, the difference of being in a minor key and a major key, where it would go from the sense of longing to the sense of hope. It was really pretty. Yeah. Very I, uh, pretty song. I've wanted to see a Jaya film that was like her younger. Yeah. Because uh, she was, she was, and still is, I guess, a thespian. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm going to talk about We've mentioned well. how anything she's in from the 90s, she's oh, the yeah. one telling everybody else, I'm yeah. not going there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm staying rooted. I wonder if she like hates working with Shah Rukh Khan, especially in like the 90s. She's, Stop it. <laughs> Stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> she seems like a purist. <laughs> Of, like it reminded me of the the blooper reel from Liar Liar, when I don't know the actress's name, but she and Jim Carrey having a back and forth where they're insulting each other, and she screams at him, "Over actor!" and he dies. He loves that she called him that. <laughs> anyway, so this is 1973. Qualifies as a classic. It does qualify as a classic. Uh, last year, I think we got to. Devar. We watched Devar the last classic month. Uh, yeah, that would be right. Uh, and it, I've read the premise right there. It is A Star is Born. I'm not saying that it was a remake. It's a popular premise. It what happens all the over the place. Star is Born? It, Judy Garland, 1957. Okay. And then the Streisand one was right around this time. It's the 70s, the remake. So the first star is born, was uh, was that? But it's a con I, superstar discovers somebody, and then she begins to outshine him, and it becomes a problem. It's a it's a common story. Um, yeah. So you guys can let us know if this is one that would be worth a watch for Classic Month to get to a Jaya and yeah. Amitab together. Yep. Uh, which would be really especially younger. Uh, Rishkesh Mukherjee. It looks like th that name. To oh. Anand. Yep. Same director. Uh, that name to me looks like the director of Donkey, though. The the Donkey coming out with SRK? Donkey? Uh -huh. The director. Same director as Three Idiots. I guess not. But. Raj Kumar Hirani? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind, it, of, kind of approximate. In my brain. Mukherjee, Hirani, I don't know. They both end in E. They're all things I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys can let us know if this would be a good one for our next Amitabh Bakchan classic and Jaya. That was Mukherjee. It's funny. Obviously, my wife's maiden name. We were watching an episode of Friends, and a character that they make up as one of Phoebe's former boyfriends. Mm. His last name was Mukherjee. They said he was an Indian guy, and they made him a Mukherjee. We kind of love that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, let us know uh, how this film is, if this one should be worth a watch for Classic Month, and other songs we can react to uh, down below. Josh!